All right, good morning, YouTube. This is my first time posting stuff about my crypto. So I got a little starter 1050 Ti rig running right now, mining Raven coin. I have it on a recycled crib frame. These are the slats. Alright, this is the scrap of it. And I made that out of that. Got my little Kadena box miner going right there off the same power supply. But my project I'm doing now, while I'm waiting for more graphics cards to come in, is I'm going to transfer this into this. So this is a little end table. I'm going to have intake fans on the bottom right there those spots now I'm gonna have the graphics cards mounted along that bar there and then right here will be where the motherboard goes I made these little electrical tape uh, motherboard riser things that I'm gonna use and drill them into it just little pieces of wood and then right in this spot is where I'm gonna have the outtake fans blowing the hot air up. I have the power supply on this side. And then, yeah. So that would be cool. But right now I'm using 1050 TIs in there. Each of them are getting about 6.6 .6, um, hashing on uh, Raven coin. So it's not awful. They're they're still good for something. Other than just a uh, medium entry level gaming rig. But definitely wouldn't recommend jumping on buying these, especially at the prices they're at now. I got these for around like 160 a piece. So the ROI on them won't be too crazy, but it's definitely still Still a little bit of time, but I got a 3070 coming in, and then a 100 XT that I'm going to be taking out of my gaming computer, and I'm going to bring that out here. I'm going to game on the 3070, because it's the LHR, so I won't be mining Ethereum or anything on it, obviously, but I will be having it do Ravencoin while I'm sleeping. So, what that does on Ravencoin will probably be close to the same as what this does for a full 24 hour period, just on 8 hours. But then I'll have the 5700 XT, that'll be doing, I think I'll have it doing just Ethereum. It's like three, 350 a day I think it does right now, based on what to mine. So, that'll be pretty solid also have this old HP uh, farming Chia and we just got word that the official pool protocol will be live hopefully next week they're gonna be starting their three-day testing periods which I'm very excited about I almost did H pool I signed up and everything but on Linux, since I'm a Linux super no novice, it's proving to be a little more difficult to get that going than I originally anticipated. So I'm just holding off on it. And I'm going to throw them on an official pool. Probably going to go with Space Pool. That seems to be one that's pretty trustworthy. They seem to be doing a lot of stuff with uh, user interfaces and whatnot, making it nice to use so that's what I'm that's what I'm gonna be doing but yeah I don't have anyone to share this progress with so I figure I post it on the old YouTubes and if anybody cares and wants to see more I'd appreciate if you'd let me know maybe like subscribe one of those things that all of us youtuber people ask for and, uh, yeah be pretty cool. I also got this uh, 
Dell motherboard that I'm going to use for a uh, mining board. And it's got a good, good amount of PCIe slots. Pretty happy about that. And uh, I got one of these cards. So I can add two more hard drives into this. There's only 15. So that's pretty cool. But yeah, pretty proud of this. It's first, my first little rig I've ever made. Oh, I actually, I didn't say that I have a Ryzen uh, 2600 right here. And that is mining Monero. I'm, uh, I'm going to have all my CPUs have run in mining Monero. That's getting about... It was four kilohash on Monero, so that's it's pretty solid. I have uh, my daughter's little gaming rig. I'm gonna be having that mining Monero at night, and that was getting about 1.5 kilohash. But I was only using two cores of the four, so I can definitely increase that. This one I have all six cores of the Ryzen CPU mining Monero. So that's doing very well with that. But this this little Kadena uh, box miner, it's cool. But with the price of Kadena right now, it's not the most profitable thing. It's going to take a little while to hit ROI on that. But as everyone knows, that fall, we're in a pretty big dip right now. So I do anticipate that going back up. It wasn't too long ago that Kadena was over a dollar a coin. Right now it's at about 35 cents-ish a coin, fluctuating between 35 and 40 cents. So, either way, it's making money. It's not electricity. It's very quiet. Cool little rig right there. I'm buying the mini Doge Litecoin miner, but... I'm just, I'm not one of those people that believe in Doge going to a dollar. I, I can see it happening, but I'm not putting any of my cards in that, really. I'm, I'm holding like 200 Doge or whatever just for the fuck of it, just to see if uh, it does go up. Same thing with Shiba, I'm holding like 100 bucks worth of Shiba just to see what happens, but I'm not, I'm not deep in that like I am with like Ethereum or Cardano or any of those major coins but yeah hopefully this wasn't boring and uh, if you guys like it drop a like subscribe let me know if you want to see anything else if you have any questions catch you on the flippity